dear students good morning today we try to learn the definition of sub matrix means a matrix obtained by deleting some rows or columns or both of a matrix is called sub matrix of the given matrix let us see with an example there is a matrix a what is the order of this matrix two rows three columns so order is 2 by 3 according to the definition of sub matrix given matrix so this is given matrix a matrix obtained by deleting some rows suppose i want to delete uh, this row what is the remaining 1 2 3 that matrix which is remained see here in this matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 i want to delete one row you can delete any number of rows or any number of columns so at least one element must present after deletion of any number of rows or any number of columns if you delete two rows nothing will remain here you should see that one element at least should remain after deletion of rows or columns or both in this given matrix a i want to delete this row what is the remaining 1 2 3 that remaining matrix is called sub matrix sub matrix of a because you have deleted a row from this matrix are in this matrix so the remaining matrix 1 2 3 which is called sub matrix of a if i remove one column any column first column or second column or third column if i remove third column what are remaining 1 2 4 5 1 2 4 5 this is a sub matrix sub matrix if i remove first column what is remaining 2 3 5 6 is sub matrix of a if i remove second row these two columns what are remaining or what is uh, remaining one element is remaining so matrix 1 is sub matrix of a you can remove any one row or any one column or any number of rows or any number of columns or both rows and columns but at last see that sub matrix may contain at least one element at least one element so this is uh, the definition of uh, 
sub matrix if you observe if you observe a matrix a 1 2 3 4 5 6 if i remove zero number of rows zero number of rows means nothing i want to remove zero number of columns no column is removed then the matrix left is the same is the same means it is a sub matrix of itself every matrix is sub matrix of itself according to the definition you have to remove rows or columns if i remove zero number of rows means no row is removed zero number of columns are removed means no column is removed the matrix left is as it is hence every matrix is sub matrix of itself every matrix is sub matrix of itself and one more observation with every element, with every element of matrix, we can write a sub matrix. With every element of uh, the given matrix, we can write a sub matrix. See here, matrix 1 is obtained by removing uh, second row. One row is removed, two columns. Second column, third column are removed. The remaining element is 1. So, element 1 will make a sub matrix of matrix A. So, for a matrix, you may have number of sub matrices which are countable which are countable you don't have infinitely many sub matrices you will have countable number of sub matrices see here for matrix a for matrix a itself is a sub matrix so this is a one sub matrix second sub matrix third sub matrix fourth sub matrix by removing first row you will get one more sub matrix 4 5 6 by removing second column you will get 1 3 4 6 one more sub matrix whatever may be the number of sub matrices but they are finite in number this definition will help us to know about the rank of a matrix so we must be much clear in the definition of sub matrix. Which is obtained by removing or deleting any number of rows or any number of columns. If you observe matrix A is of order 2 by 3. You can take any order matrix. For our understanding, I am taking a 2 by 3 matrix. Maximum how many rows you may delete? 2 rows you may delete. Maximum number of rows. 
maximum number of columns how many you can delete here three columns from this given matrix it is not possible to remove three rows because there are only two rows it is possible to remove less than two rows or less than three columns less than three columns in this matrix you may not remove more than two rows and more than three columns that is what uh, we want to observe in this uh, definition of uh, sub matrix uh, every element will form a sub matrix and number of sub matrices are countable means finite this is a, a complete explanation about sub matrix right